you must follow my instruction. Now because we have limited time it is important that each and every one of you listen attentively. I anticipate if we perform this exercise together, we will gain insight into what is unseen and approach the unique concept of oneness by moving beyond the parameters of the ego. But you must follow my instructions, each of you, together. Now, I need everybody to stand up. Yes, everybody. Stand up. That includes you. Yes, you, in the jeans. Stand up. Good. As you can see, there are long cushions that fit snugly on each bench. Take a small step away from the bench and turn to face the bench. Now, take the edge of the cushion that you were sitting on. Everybody, raise the cushions off the seat. You may lean. The cushion up against the back wrist. Good. The object that you behold, or should I say, that beholds you, is a special seeing device. An aid to see the unseen. Now, everybody take this device in your hands. Don't put it on just yet. We have a few more steps to carry out. Okay. Has everybody got their seeing device in their hand? Good. Now, I'd like each of you to turn around and replace the cushions back on the bench. Come on. We have limited time. Okay. Now you can all sit down. Okay. But for using the device, I'd like each of you to use this time to look around you. Observe the strange black bricks that surround you. The large dark curtain hanging in the space. Now, bring your gaze to the ground. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Look down toward the center of the space. Observe the white markings on the floor. Now, look around you. And, behold the group. Look at every person who is here today with you. Consider the group. How this particular group is made up of you. And others. Gathered here together. On this particular day. At this particular time. Observe this moment. Now. Look at the person who is sitting next to you. Yes. Look at the person beside you. Don't look away. I want each of you to look into their face. Spend some time observing the shape of their forehead. Their eyebrows. Moving down to their eyes. Look intently and deeply into their eyes. Observe the color of their eyes. Now move down to their nose. 
to the gap between their nose and lips. Observe their lips, the shape, and the color. Moving down to the chin. Good. Now take one final look at their face and let this image become imprinted in your mind. Good. That first part wasn't so difficult now, was it? Okay. It is time to use the device. Place this over your eyes. Take your time. Make sure the elastic is not too tight. Tie the back nice and snug. Make sure that the fabric lies flat and is not creased on your skin. Now. Has everybody got their seeing devices on? Good. Now. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, feel the coolness and the calmness from this breath spreading throughout the body. As you breathe out, release all worry, all concerns. Become aware of the breath as it moves through your body between the navel and the throat. Feel yourself becoming more relaxed, more calm and at ease with yourself. Do not force the breath. You simply have to observe the natural flow of breath as it moves in through your body. Relax yourself mentally so that the mind is at rest and consciousness is active. Good. Please remain silent and listen. We shall begin with the mantra. Hari Om. Tots and Ant. Hari Om is in fact. One mantra. And. Om Tots and Ant. Another. Hari represents the manifest reality. This world. The universe and life. Om represents the unmanifest, the unseen, invisible, the uncreated aspect of the absolute. That is, absolute reality. Tot refers to that, or all that is. By joining the two mantras together, we are reminded that the things we see with our eyes and what is beyond our eyes are both the same, not different. The mantra, Hari Om, Tatsanad, reminds us that the seen and the unseen are both one. Hari Om, Tatsanad. Hari Om, Tatsanad. Hari Om. Dots and end.